In this video, we're going to take a look at how to translate your WordPress menus with WPML. Here's our website, and we have a primary navigation here across the top. Each of these navigation items corresponds to a page in English. Now, most of those pages are still empty. I created them as placeholders to build the nav. Then our content creation people can come in later and fill them with content. I also created Spanish placeholders. You can see here that I have six English pages and six Spanish pages. The Spanish pages are also empty. I simply put in the Spanish title in the WordPress title. But for the purposes of translating our navigation, the empty pages don't matter. Now there are two different ways to translate the navigation. A manual way and an automated way. We'll take a look at both. First we'll do manual. I'm going to go to Appearance, Menus. Here's our English navigation, built just like any other WordPress navigation. Now if I want to create a Spanish navigation, over here, I can click Spanish. Now that did not create a navigation. It brought me to the place where I can do that. So right here, I want to type Spanish menu. I can choose a language, but it would be silly to choose anything else other than Spanish at this point. And you can see this is a translation of primary nav. If I had more than one navigation, then you could click this and choose, but again, we're trying to translate the primary nav, so choosing anything else would be unwise. So right now I click Create Menu. Now I have an empty Spanish menu. So far this is not very different from creating any other menu. The magic is the fact that we now have two primary navigations. Normally WordPress only allows for one, but now we have one for each language. So we simply want to build the menu structure. Since I want a link to all the pages on my site, I'm going to click View All, then choose Select All, and Add to Menu. And I would like to reorder them a little bit. So here's Home. I want Contact at the bottom. Now, for some reason, it gave me two homes. So I'm going to simply remove one. And now I can save my menu. There we are. Now I have a Spanish menu. But if I come back and reload, you'll see that I don't yet have a way to change to the Spanish version of this site. So now let's go to WPML Languages. And down here, we have the option to create a menu language switcher. An alternative is a widget language switcher, but our homepage doesn't have a widget. So we don't want that one right now. Let's click to add a new language switcher to a menu. We only have one menu right now, it's the primary nav. It can be the first or the last menu item. It can be a drop down or a list of languages, and we can make some choices about what's in the menu. We also have some options for changing colors. But let's simply click Save. And now, Reload. And here we have a drop down menu, and we can click to Spanish. Now, I haven't translated my homepage yet, so there's no content here. But you can see that our navigation is all completely translated. Now, that was the manual way. Now, I'm going to show you the automated way. So, I'm going to go back to Appearance and Menus. And I'm going to delete my Spanish menu. There. Now, we're back to where we were with only one menu in its English. If we come back here and reload and switch to Spanish, you'll see that the nav doesn't change. It simply continues to use the English version. Let's do some automated menu building. If we go to WPML and WP Menus Sync. Now this is an add-on for WPML, but it's free if you have a WPML license. So you simply need to go to their website and download it. Now because our Spanish and English pages are associated with each other, WPML knows which two should be tied together. So it's telling us that it's going to add the green items. And then this is a menu option that will be updated. Right now in our primary menu, we've told it not to auto add new pages. So it's going to continue to do that for Spanish as well. Now it's not adding a home link right now. So we may need to go back in and do that. But if we click sync, then we can choose All and Apply Changes. And now it's done. 
If we go back to Appearance, Menus, you'll see there's now a Spanish menu. And there it is. And it did not add a Home menu. If we go to View All and choose Home, then we can click Save. Now there are upsides and downsides to both manual and to the automated sync. With manual, you're very sure from the very beginning that you're going to get exactly what you want. However, it takes a little more time. With sync, it simply created the menu for you, and it did a great job of choosing which pages should go in it. But you saw that it wasn't 100% perfect. We had to go in and add a home page. The more complicated your page structure, the more unwieldy automated sync gets. In the end, you end up with a translated navigation system. And which method you choose is entirely up to you. It's whichever one you're most comfortable with. In our next video, we'll take a look at how to make sure your SEO remains proper while translating your content.